football fans and welcome to my World Cup 2018 team overviews. In each one of these segments I'll analyse each nation, how they got there and what we can expect from them in Russia. In this video we'll take a closer look at Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia returned to the world stage after a 12 year absence with the last appearance way back in 2006 when the tournament was held in Germany. All in all, this will be Saudi Arabia's fifth tournament, with the previous four happening back to back from 1994 through 2006. They make the trip to Russia after finishing as runners up in Group B in the AFC. An impressive feat considering they bumped the likes of UAE and Australia out of the way for the second spot, only missing out to Japan by one point. Managed by Eduardo Bauza, can Saudi Arabia upset the odds in Russia? Well, to be honest, probably not. However, their squad has poss one possible advantage ahead of others. The vast majority of their players play in their home country with only a couple minor exceptions to that rule. This does have its drawbacks, but it also instills a traditional bond between them all. A couple of standouts for Saudi Arabia, keep your eye on Mohammed Al Sawi. It's 28 goals to his 33 caps for his country. And also Mukhtar Ali, if he makes the cut. He is one of only two players who, as he plays his club football in the Netherlands. And at 19 years old, he could offer his homeland a cultural twist. As for my prediction, unfortunately I see an early end for Saudi Arabia. It's going to be a tough competition and they could be ending off some rough score lines. However, if they dig their heels in, they could possibly grind out three draws. But to be honest, not likely and you can expect an exit at the group stages. Well, that's your lot folks. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you have not done so already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. It'll keep you bang up to date with all my World Cup videos as they happen over the next few months. Rovers fans, don't fret. Blackburn Rovers will always be my number one, so please stick around. Anyway, back to the World Cup. Check out some of my squad prediction videos. They're great.